closet winter essentials. These are items that I always go for because they're comfy, they're cozy, and they just look good. I feel like it took me a while to get to this point because I'm from Venezuela and Trinidad and we do not get snow over there. So I, I never had to wear a coat, a jacket, layers. I never had to do any of that growing up. So it took me a little bit to get to this point where I feel confident to show the items that I use. And I'm in my 30s now, so I'm all about comfort these days. I like comfy clothes, but I also like to look good and feel good. When it's winter, you want to stay warm, but you also you don't want to look like a trash bag. I live in Philly, so it does not get that cold. It gets between 30s, maybe 20s, but let's get right into it. The key to layer in the winter is to start from your lightest fabrics to your heaviest fabrics. I have a couple of black long sleeves. I have turtleneck, regular ones, body suits that are long sleeves. They're just perfect for layering. So I start off with this as my base layer. So I have a couple of different black turtlenecks. So this one's from H&M, it's ribbed. This one is a bodysuit that's also a turtleneck. I got it off of Shein. I use this every single day. Almost every time I'm getting dressed, I probably use this one the most. And this one is from Gap. I just recently got this and it's super soft. It's just a simple black long sleeve shirt. White turtlenecks and I also have cream turtlenecks because you're wearing like a cream sweater. It always looks better when you layer with lighter colors. Another essential for me is, is chunky knit sweaters. These are just cozy, comfortable, and they keep you warm to just throw over your base layer. I have this one from H&M that I recently got. This one is a little bit itchy, so what I do is since you have already a base layer, um, it's not as itchy. This other one too, which is super soft and it's like a cream color. A cream color is just, it's just a great staple to have if you wanted to. It was really cold you could layer you could put this one as your base layer this cream turtleneck and just put this over it here is another long sleeve that I got off of the men's section at Target I do love wearing a lot of men's clothes uh, sometimes I steal Michael my fiance's clothes and I just go to the men's section because they have like the best fitting clothes and it's oversized it just goes better with my style if you don't like oversized or men's clothes then feel free to get women's chunky sweaters but i personally like the fit of this super soft they're great for layering i just love how it looks this is another item that i always like to have so this is two layers that we have on right now you can wear a simple black shirt under it or you can wear your cream turtleneck as well and let the turtleneck peek through it would look really cute another winter essential are crew necks i just love putting these on for like a sportier vibe more casual laid back wearing this with either jeans or wearing it with leggings it's up to you however you want to style it and obviously your base layer your sweater another item that i love is having sweater vests Sweater vests have been in for a while now. This is a, another great item for layering. I got this in the men's section in a vintage store. It's an extra large, but you can also opt for like the fitted ones. Those are nice as well. Essential that I love having are blazers. You could just throw it on as another layering piece. This is an oversized blazer that I got from Nasty Gal. It used to have shoulder pads, but I didn't like how it looked on me. This is one of my most worn blazers. I just love the look of it. It looks super nice. It elevates your base layer. And then another way that I've seen people do, I've seen this look on Pinterest a lot. They take one of the chunky sweaters. They throw the chunky sweater over the blazer like this to add an extra layer. So I have a couple of blazers. I just feel like blazers, you can wear them with anything. You can wear them with leggings like I just did, or jeans and chunky boots. I have a black one, which, which is a staple. I think every woman should own a black blazer, whether that be a tailored one or an oversized one. I'll link a couple of options below. This color is just very elevated. You can take this to the office, but you can also wear it for like drinks or something or like brunch. It's just the perfect color. I also have a black one in leather and it's also a great item to have is a leather blazer. This leather oversized bomber, I always wear this. This is my most worn item in my closet. Every time I go out with this jacket, I get compliments. This jacket, I got it off of Misguided in the petite section. Misguided is only available in London right now. I don't know why they don't sell in America anymore. I'm gonna try to link similar ones 
if oversized is not your vibe then you can also do the fitted ones i will also link some fitted options for you as well it's, it just gives any outfit that masculine touch that sometimes you feel like something is missing in your outfit you want to elevate it you want to just edge it up a little bit throw on something leather and you're good to go another great item one of my favorites is having a puffer vest i wear it all the time with anything it just takes the outfit to another level like because it's a leather and the quilted material just sophisticated edgy just everything at once everything you need in an outfit you have on a lounge set and throw this on and you'll look like you know what you're doing here is another one that i recently got for christmas i always wanted a puffer vest that was longer michael says that this one makes me look like a mom I think so too, but I love the fact that this one has a hood. I got it from Zara. It's a size medium. Cropped one is also a medium. What I love the most about this is that it has a hood. Sometimes when I wear the cropped one and it's raining, I can't cover my head. With this, you can also, since it's not as puffy, you can also add over another trench coat or another jacket if it's super cold out and you need that extra layer. Okay, now for our jacket. I got this off of H&M. I have this in the black and I have it in the green. It's like a green khaki color. And I just feel like it's just something that I always find myself grabbing to throw over any outfit. And it also has a hood. I love jackets with hoods because again, when it's raining, your hair doesn't get messed up, you don't get sick, whatever. Any color you like. I feel like a black is a classic color to have but this one it, it just makes a statement you know now this black trench coat every time i wear this i get compliments it's beautiful this is a size four i believe us four this you put on this trench coat and you're going somewhere you're about to fuck shit up you know what i mean you could be wearing anything under it like i'm wearing this and just throw this on and you just look like you know what you're doing it's just effortless it's chic a camel trench coat also is really nice to have this one is a statement. I love this one. This one is from the men's section at Forever 21. Michael got it for himself, but I stole it, and I'm the one who always wears it. Your accessories, your boots or whatever, your purse, boom. Also, what I like about having these trench coats is that you can also do the same trick with the sweater that I did before. Wear your coat like this, and yeah. So any of these like long line trench coats, so like a black, a houndstooth one, or a camel coat is great to have in the winter time. This keeps me so warm is a long puffer coat but with a hood. There's some of these that have like the fur in the back. I don't like that look. If you like that look, go for it. If you do get one with a fur, just make sure the fur looks nice. It can make your outfit look cheap if the fur looks like a broomstick fur. I have this scarf. Oversized scarves are super in right now. Keeping your neck, your ears, and your head warm are the main thing in super cold climates. I put on a beanie sometimes to cover my ears because that's where the cold air goes in through the most. Just always remember that to layer in the winter, you just need your thin layer first and then you can work your way up. So like thin layers, then your sweater or your crew neck, your hoodie, and then a blazer, and then your trench coat or your puffer coat, whatever it may be. I have a cream one, I have a black one. These are not as big as this one I have on leather leggings that I got from Target these are super comfy and I love just throwing on oversized sweaters over it they're just amazing for anything and they have a lot of elastic to it again super comfy super loose normally I'm able to just throw on whatever over this right if you don't have leather leggings you can also opt for regular black leggings that would be a perfect base layer as well some people also do heat tech from Uniqlo. If I find them, I will link them below. So any leggings, so leather leggings, regular black leggings are great to have as a winter essential for layering. These leather trousers, leather trousers, it could be a wide leg like mine or it could be any cut that you prefer. Leather is just great for the winter. It um, keeps you warm and it's just, it dresses up any outfit perfect for date night or a nighttime vibe. Um, these are from Forever 21 and they're a size medium. I always size up in my bottoms because that way I can layer. I can put like leggings under it and then put this over it and I'll be fine, it won't be that tight. 
Another one that I'm always wearing is these black trousers that I got from Target. They're just super comfy. Trousers are super in right now, wide leg trousers. Wearing your trousers in a casual way are just very in right now. Like I could wear this with like my Uggs or my Converse and a sweater and it'll be a cute look. Another item is these Abercrombie jeans. I'm usually a size 27 and I got these in a 28 and I'm so happy that these are a 28 because these are my most worn jeans. I can wear these to go to eat. I can wear these if I'm if I'm in the car for like more than three hours and I won't be suffocating. So I really appreciate these jeans and they make my butt look nice. They're just super flattering. They are a little pricey but the cost per wear is just worth it. So my favorite shoes to wear in the winter are these chunky black boots. I got these in Zara in 2020 and I've worn the crap out of them. They're like masculine, edgy, they go with my style. If you don't like this type of style, uh, you can do the more feminine one. I do have my Steve Madden ones. These are the Steve Madden ones that are more feminine. These are like the more feminine ones that I'm talking about. You can also opt for these if you, this is not your style. If this is too masculine for you, you can opt for these. Here is another shoe that I always wear too. You can put this on with like your leggings. You can put these on with skinny jeans. Gen Z's don't come at me. I know Gen Z's are like offended by skinny jeans now. This is how they look. I got these off of Zara as well. And they have the same chunky chunky threaded sole which i love i personally love that look i'm gonna link different variations that are not so chunky and not so threaded in the sole in case you want to look at those options another shoe that i'm always wearing in the cozy months are my uggs ultra mini uggs these made a comeback i remember wearing these in high school but the ones that like were up to here they're super comfy they look great with anything. You can wear these with jeans, your blazer to dress up the Ugg look a little bit. These just look great. My Converse, the platform ones. I've always been a fan of Converse. In high school, I used to wear the regular ones that had like the thin, thin sole. Yeah, I'm really into platform right now. So I have these in the, in the black and I have the other platform ones, which are a different style in white. I wear the white ones in the summer and sometimes in the winter, but these are perfect. These square toe heels are a perfect shoe, the perfect heel for date night. You can wear this with jeans or uh, leather trousers. Slouchy knee-high boots, which are really cute if you wanted to do a sweater dress situation and put these on. All right, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. You can modify this with and whatever you have in your closet, your weather or your personal style. You don't need to go buy all these things. These are my favorites that I have in my closet. I hope that these can help you or give you a guide of what to wear in the winter. Everything is gonna be linked down in the description box below with sizing and everything. I'm gonna try to link alternatives if some of these items are sold out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.